ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special video of the week. And today we're going to be talking about your 10th Lord Nakshatra. Your 10th Lord Nakshatra. And this particular, you know, idea or technique, you can call it, just came over experience. I don't know if there's any book on it or if there's any you know other information on it but literally this is just by looking at people's and uh charts doing career consultation especially when you know sometimes you guys write a whole paragraph even though i say just give me one line <laughs> but you guys write a whole paragraph this is what's happening at work and this is what's happening and this is this so what i started doing is i started noting it down i'm like okay this is the problem and this is the tenth lord sitting here okay note it down so pretty much i was able to cover you know all of the planetary placements with this so we're going to be discussing today and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the detailed video especially including the padhas on my Keras vlogs on uh you know magha vedic astrology academy i'm going to do that probably in october first week so your 10th Lord Nakshatra. And this doesn't have anything to do with the house placement. You can actually just look at the 10th Lord and the Nakshatra it's sitting in. So for example, if the 10th Lord, or not example, I mean, we're talking about it. We're talking about it now. So let's talk about it. So if your 10th Lord is in the Nakshatra of the sun, okay, 10th Lord is in the Nakshatra of the sun. You will always seek power, power, reputation, and prestige over anything. Like such people will not even care for money more than having power. Kind of like what Frank Underwood said in House of Cards. When he talked about Remy, he chose money over power. Big mistake. So whenever your 10th Lord is in the Nakshatra of the Sun, that's what person is going to seek in their work. That's what they're going to be about in their work. When your 10th Lord is in the Nakshatra of the moon, you will always seek to go home. This is an individual who can't wait to go home. This is an individual is always, uh, you know, thinking about their nourishment. What are they going to eat? What are they going to watch? What are they going to do? They have a, you know, they, they really are more about at work concentrating on home. Concentrating on pleasure at home. Like you will see these people even, um, even in another nakshatra too, which I'll discuss, like they, they will be the one who are watching like, you know, movies and songs on YouTube. Watching my videos at work. Stop doing that. Wait, relax. That's what your 10th Lord will do when it's in the nakshatra of the moon. In the nakshatra of the Mercury, this is an individual who will deal with a lot of changes at work. A lot of changes, a lot of rapid fluctuations and changes. And I'm not talking about up fluctuations, ups and downs. I'm talking about fluctuation that completely changes the career, completely changes the um, you know, outlook of a certain project. They have to deal with constant change at work. And it's not really about anything to do with communication because everybody communicates now. Everybody, everybody's been doing it for thousands of years. So that's not what Mercury is. I mean, it is, but it's not in this particular study that I've done. When Venus is there, one first of all looks for diplomacy diplomacy at work they want they'll be the one who are always in a position where they are kind of solving issues between two people they're solving problems of the other people and between other people but these are also the folks who seek entertainment at work they want to, they're listening to some podcast they're watching some movie on their phone now when you have mars as your 10th Lord, um, I'm sorry, when 10th Lord is in the Nakshatra of Mars, this is the person who's always going to war at work. They're so busy at work 
they can focus on anything else. With this particular Mars, a person is literally sometimes married to their work. They will not have time because they are out there now fighting. They have to fight. They're fighting, they're strategizing, and nothing else will be able to, you know, come into their concentrated camp of, you know, work. When you have Jupiter as your or your 10th Lord is in the nakshatra of Jupiter, you will not take anybody's advice. You will not taking you will not like taking someone else's advice. You'll feel degraded. You'll feel like am I not an am I unintelligent? You know, why am I supposed to seek this person's advice? I know better. Because this person will seek they will always somehow even if they're not in a position to give advice, they will give advice. And for them to take advice it's a kind of like sacrilegious to them. Saturn when Saturn, when your 10th Lord is in the nakshatra of Saturn, you can be at the highest of position. You can be at the medium position, lowest position. You will always feel like you're being treated like a servant. You're always going to feel like I'm always obligated to do things for other people. You, you will feel like everybody's commanding you. So even as a CEO, your work, no matter where you go, how many companies you change, whether it's your own company, you will be pretty much be noticed as the servant of the company. You are going to be, you know, dealing with, uh, first of all, such people deal with delay with success. And obviously working long hours. But the main thing is they always get treated like the servant. So even though a job, in India they call it Nokri, Nokri meaning Nokar, meaning the servant. So they literally will have that those situations come to them and no matter if they're in the medium status, high status, executive status or low status. Rahu, they will always seek to cause some mischief at work. Tenth Lord in Rahu's Nakshatra, they will always seek to cause some mischief. They will always want to stir the pot so they can go behind and attain their success. Ketu ruled nakshatra, one has no interest in work. One always seeks to escape work. Their goal in work is to work and escape. Their goal in life is to only work for a certain time and not work after that, that time. They're not the people who are attached to their work. They're, this is actually the Ketu's position is the one when they get off of work, they're the happiest. They no longer re want to be attached no matter what work it is. Okay, so that's how simple it is. Tenth Lord in an akshatra of this planet, this planet, this planet, this planet. And this is literally after years, three, three, four years at least of research, just looking and reading emails and then re looking and reading emails. So it just was ingrained in my brain of what is happening with this planet and it's not something I asked it's not even something I asked until I started noticing this then I would purposely then ask with some people when I wouldn't have that information or in not enough of that information I'm like tell me what is this work about is this about this this and this so again you know uh, the real life readings and real life analysis of charts gives you even more additional techniques that you wouldn't have never you know discovered in books or, you know, uh, in some seminar. But like I said, I'm going to go into, so you see how long this take took. So I'm going to go with the Padha. If your 10th Lord is in Mars's Nakshatra and the Padha 1, Padha 2, Padha 3, Padha 4. So for that, you know, go to Kher's uh, vlogs under kherschannel.thinkific.com. So I'll be doing that starting probably October. All right. See ya. Bye-bye.